Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the fuel pump and sending unit on this 2003 GMC Envoy XL. And it's the same part and similar process on a variety of these Envoys from 2002 to 2004. And you can view the parts page on our website, and there's a list of the vehicles it fits. And the items you'll need for this is a new fuel pump and sending unit module from 1AAuto.com, a 7 and 15 millimeter socket and ratchet, an 11 millimeter wrench, a flat blade screwdriver, pliers, a drip pan, hammer and a chisel, pick, paper towels, jack and jack stands, and depending on the condition of your fuel tank straps, you may also need a reciprocating saw. Start out by locating um, the relay for your fuel pump and there's a fuse box under the hood right behind the battery. Ours is number 41 which is that one there. So and we'll start up the vehicle this relay out. and then pull that fuse relay and eventually the engine, engine will quits as it runs out, of out as it loses fuel. And then put the relay back in after you have uh, turned off the key. You can put the relay back in. Make sure you don't Turn the key on again, that will energize uh, the system, and then put that uh, back. And now you can take off underneath in front of the fuel tank. Um, this is the drain for the fuel, and we're just going to use a screwdriver, take the cap off, and press in the valve, and that will allow the fuel to drain. And obviously, we have a drip pan underneath to catch it. The next step will be to disconnect the fuel lines. You push in on the fuel lines, and then there is a uh, basically a clip that you press the ears. You can see it better on this one. I use the pliers to press the, the ears in on the clip, um, and then you should be able to pull the fuel line off. Some of them come e off easier than others. You'll want to disconnect three fuel lines total, the one coming from the front to the fuel uh, filter and then the two up top here. This ring, there's flat spots on the top and bottom of this. Push the fuel line a little bit, try and get it loosened up. Now at the back of the vehicle, you just want to loosen up this hose clamp on the fuel filler neck. And now pull that fill, that, that hose uh, tube from the fill and neck. And it takes a little bit of force. Uh, also, you want to check the condition of your fill and neck. 1A Auto, we also sell uh, new fill and necks. If yours is rusted or anything like that, it may be time to replace it. Now just lift up on the tab and disconnect that harness. And then you want to remove these four 15 millimeter bolts on this crossbar. And we'll fast forward as Mike does that and pulls that crossbar down. And you can use a socket and ratchet, but we're going to use some air powered tools to speed it up. And now there's a 15 millimeter bolt on each gas tank strap. And you want to just go ahead and remove those. And it does help to remove them if you just add some penetrating oil up here. And then we'll just go ahead and remove those. Now with this one we had some problems. We couldn't actually get the bolt to come out. We ended up breaking off up in there. So we're going to use a reciprocating saw to just cut it. And you want to be careful not to cut the tank. You just be careful not to cut anything but that bolt. And if this doesn't work or you don't have a reciprocating saw, you can also use an air hammer. And just get it out that way.
And then to remove it, you just turn it and pull it down and out. And this back one, you actually have to remove the drive shaft if you want to remove this entirely. So you just bend it out of the way. And then you want to just lower your jack. And ideally you're going to want to have your truck about two feet off the ground to have enough space uh, to do that. Uh, you bring the front of it down and then kind of slide it, slide it forward to get it out. And on the back of it, there's a harness right here. You want to lift up on that tab and disconnect that harness. And then from the front, up on top of the gas tank, there's another harness. And you again, just lift up on the tab and disconnect it. And then have someone help and hold the other side of the gas tank. Remove that jack stand. And if you're lower to the ground, because you're just using standard jack and jack stands and not a lift, you won't necessarily need two people. You can just move it out carefully. And you also want to make sure that this is as close to empty as possible. And you just want to work it down. And the strap on the back may get in the way. So just lift that out of the way. and then your tank is free. Okay, so you can see here, this is just really in bad shape. These are all crusty, they're probably leaking. Could even be leaking right through the top of here. Um, but this is all fuel around the sides. We're just gonna clean this all up and get rid of all this junk. And then remove this and replace the sending unit. All right, so these should push in and then you should be able to push these tabs and disconnect, but these lines are so rusty. I gotta actually clean it out in here, I think, before I can do it. All right, so we did the same thing to this one. We dug out underneath and we got the clip to unlock and it looks like it's actually gonna come off. I guess. All right, so now we're going to remove this. This is held in by a retaining ring. There's a little lock here, which you have to push that way. I'm going to use my chisel, get the ring moving. Once you get the ring free, carefully lift it off of the fuel pump and sending unit. And you want to make sure that you're not letting any rust fall down into the tank or any dirt. So you want to do this very carefully. And then just lift the fuel pump and sending unit module up and out. All right, I'm gonna very carefully try and clean this without getting dirt in the tank at all. Wipe around and then out. Up, around, out. All right, so we went and dumped out some of the gas. You can see we got a lot of the junk out of there. So a good way to kind of filter gas is I've got a funnel with a filter in it. And then I'm gonna take a paper towel put it down in the funnel. And the paper towel is gonna actually funnel the gas to a finer extent. It takes it some time, but you pour the gas in and it soaks through the paper towel. And then we don't pour, we wait. Yeah, once we get to that sludge at the bottom, we just stop. 
Okay, and you can see how much the paper towel picked up. Okay, so we'll actually are gonna kind of drain the tank, and I don't, I'm not one to give up gas, so we'll feed the gas in like that. On the left is the old fuel pump and sending unit. On the right is the new one from 1A Auto. You can see they're identical and they'll fit exactly the same. Now remove the rubber washer and that clip. And you want to do that from both of those. Then remove the packing caps from the new fuel pump and sending unit. And then push on the clip and the rubber washer. Feed your new fuel pump and sending unit down into the tank. And then take that retaining ring and lower it into place. And then using the hammer and the chisel, you want to just knock that back into place until that clip reclips in. Now reconnect your hoses. And they may take a little persuading. Okay, now we're going to reinstall. Can't go all the way up yet. Reconnect this harness at the top of the fuel tank, clip in your gas tank strap, and replace the bolt. And to get the other gas tank strap in, if it fell out while you were putting the tank up and in there, you're going to have to remove these four 11mm bolts with an 11mm wrench. And then you want to just put those brackets and bolts back in just a little bit so that when you go to remove the drive shaft, it doesn't just go flying off. And take a hammer, hit it a couple times to loosen it up. And then using a pry bar or a large flat blade screwdriver, just pop it out. Once you get it to break free, you can remove those brackets. And then pull the drive shaft down and put the gas tank strap back up into place. Once you get it in place, put the drive shaft back in. And just use a hammer to tap it back into place. And then replace those brackets and the 11 millimeter bolts and tighten them all up. And then replace the bolt for this gas tank strap and tighten up both of the gas tank strap bolts.
Now you can lower your jack stand and remove it. Reconnect this harness up here and then reconnect this other harness. Push your fuel tank filler neck hose back into the place. And once you get it all the way pushed in, you want to just slide that hose clamp up into place and tighten that up. Reconnect the fuel lines and they just push into place. And reconnect this line. Then replace the crossbar and the four 15 millimeter bolts that hold it in place and tighten them all up. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.